quick y'all let me tell y'all okay i finished doing one of the garden chores but we had a surprise friend in the garden so much for stopping by today so let me tell y'all i said today is the day go ahead harvest those jalapeno peppers before the actual tomato cage collapse i told y'all that this was going to be part of my garden chore this week so i went ahead i harvested everything but let me tell you those two plants were a powerhouse a little bit slow at first um especially when it got over 90 um, but then about mid-July when we got all of that rain and the temperatures cooled down a bit, they really picked up. So y'all know I don't do jalapenos. Uh, so put it in the comments, y'all. I was actually talking to one of my friends. I'm thinking about making cowboy candy. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to test it because normally what I will make is... Um, the hot pepper sauce and so i'll give it to my family and friends by the time the greens are getting ready to be harvested in the garden i'll give them a bottle of that but uh, i'm always looking for new things to try and new things to do but really quick y'all let me tell y'all okay i finished doing one of the garden chores but we had a surprise friend in the garden this is what i'm gonna tell y'all I wasn't even afraid so here here is <laughs> it starts with a s okay um use your imagination of what we found while i was cleaning out my bed but like i told chris today like normally i will flip out but i had to change my wording and so now i tell people i'm not afraid of them i just get a little uncomfortable around them um, this was a baby, so I wasn't as uncomfortable, but I still was uncomfortable because we have a lot of those, um, y'all put it in the, put it in the comments. What's the real name of it? Maybe I should look it up. So they're not the lizards. We do have lizards, but they're the ones that are black with the blue tail. So we have a lot of them and they're always like scurrying everywhere. They're really quick. But when I was cleaning out, let me show y'all what I was cleaning out today to let you, let you get a visual. Okay, so I told you that um, this was the garden chore. So we're done with this whole line all the way. We've edged up our beds. I just got to get this, uh, the mulch. But I'm not going to the garden center right now because I got some stuff I got to do. Make a long story short. So I was over here. Here. I was over there. And um, I had been putting my hand like all down in here pulling grass. But I saw, I, I saw something move that was black with stripes but i said mm, it might be it might be one of the whatever they're, they're called but i said uh-uh that that didn't move that act like it it took its time moving it didn't move like you know when you start knowing what you got out here and how the lizards and all of that move, i'm like uh-uh it didn't move like them and so what i did is i went 
and I got my hole just, you know, just in case. I was like, okay, we're going to have to investigate this because I'm, I'm not going to sit out here and be wondering what it is because I know I saw something move. So, lo and behold, yep, that's what it was, but it, it was just curled, it just curled up, just curled up, didn't try to fight me or nothing like that. So, we took care of them and we finished up this bed right here. I did the best I could. I kept hearing Chris' voice in my head that says the way I do these beds, including Pollinator Island, he says, I don't make it friendly, lawnmower friendly for when he's trying to cut the grass and so i was looking at all these curves and lines i was making i was like he probably right he, he's probably right i'm not making it friendly for him but we have finished doing that but i just wanted to share that with y'all now back to the regular <laughs> schedule program so now that i have all of the jalapenos harvested i'm gonna pull all of this up uh the red the the red envy zinnias i will grow again i have actually been writing down everything that has been doing good in the garden that had an awesome taste in the garden because this is what helps me garden plan from year to year since we've had all that rain um and this is back in july really uh we have powdery mildew on these zinnias we also have rust and so we need to get the leafy greens in and I said, you know what? If we're gonna get these leafy greens in, now needs to be the time. Now I have some holdover or some, um, just some little holdover marigolds that I got on clearance. We're gonna pull these up. These are a little bit tired. Um, we're gonna pull those up. We're gonna pull this whole bed up. Now remember, I'm gonna link the video to where we need to really work on our soil. And so um, in the in-ground soil, so I'm going to put some lime in here because that was one of the things. There, our um, in-ground soil is slightly acidic. Uh, I'm actually going to crush up some eggshells. I know it's a lot of controversy around that. Like they're they don't directly like it takes time, but I'm going to put them in there anyway because I always save them. Um, I'm going to put uh, since I'm growing leafy greens in here. I'm going to either put plant tone because it has a higher nitrogen count, or I'm just going to put straight blood meal down in here the only thing i want y'all to stick to the end with me is is i am contemplating do i want to put the purple broccoli right here or do i want to put i got so many leafy greens i got collard greens i have kale i have kohlrabi so just stick with me to the end because i told y'all before sometimes i will plan things out i will start to do it and then something just says no don't put that there put this there so that's why i want y'all to stick with me to the end as we get this bed cleaned out and also i'm going to show you what i'm going to do to my little young seedlings to try to protect them um because when i was harvesting the jalapeno peppers i don't know where he went he might be in here he might not but we had a couple of worms that i saw um that were coming out of it and then on the ground so i want to tell you what i'm going to do and how i'm going to protect it but i really have to watch it because these are really really small <music> we cleared out the bed and I just topped it with the soil three the compost blend so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna put a little bit of garden tone in here I don't want to put too much because I'm working with really small seedlings and I don't want to put so much uh, fertilizer in there that it can like burn the plants because that is a thing now I'm gonna leave these two sunflower plants they were getting blocked by the zinnias and the reason why I say that is because I'm going to walk back here. I had some extra seeds that were left over, and so I put them there. Um, and I can't remember which one is which, but they're going to come in like a really pretty fall color. But I don't know. One is like a chocolate, and one is like a ring of fire red. So I really want to leave it there to know which one is which. But the reason why I say it was getting blocked with so much light, you see the growth and the legginess on that 
versus these right here that are um, about to bloom, y'all. They're they'll bloom probably in about the next week. Um, but I wanted to bring in fall with those colors. I'm gonna work on this bed, but remember, this is not part of our garden chore this week. So I'm gonna leave um, this here because I know the bees will be so mad at me. Is this celosia is covered with bees, like they're all over it, and I will probably grow that again. So to start this bed off, we're gonna put some of the marigolds in here that we got on clearance. And then I have been going back and forth, back and forth, y'all. So I'm going to go get my soil blocks. Again, make sure you stay till the end because um, that way you'll be able to see like the final. But I'm going to do a little bit more protective work because as you saw, uh, the worm that was crawling around, those are the ones that will really take out your seedlings, especially when they're small in no time. So we're gonna do some protective work on those until they get a little bit bigger. But I'll tell you why I really, really, really need to make sure that I watch everything. <laughs> the next day so I could see how these um, garden cloches were working out for me um, and plus y'all the mystery bug was added again on my chest not one not two not three but five times um, and I had a shirt on and a long sleeve so who knows so I got a little upset about that and I went and rub uh, my salve on so let's talk about what we pulled up, what we got. Um, again, this is why I wanted to uh, you all to stick with me until the end because I did have a couple of changes. And so what I did was I started some garlic chives from seed uh, maybe back in August. So we have three of those there. We put our clearance marigold here. I'm gonna see what these sunflowers do, but this is the purple broccoli and again they're little small seedlings and what i did was just secure it down with these garden staples but i did one little extra measure and i put some diatomaceous earth down here this is going to help me to know if it's within the area that they're at or um what's going on i have to be very careful we don't want the greenhouse effect here um, on the cloches so I come out first of all I make sure that it's getting air circulation at the top y'all don't worry about the the, uh, <laughs> the tag I tried to get that tag off it was so hard but I'm pretty sure with the weather and the rain that it will come off eventually I tried like two of them and I was like I'm not gonna sit up here and waste all this time trying to take these labels off so I'm really monitoring it um, and once I feel that it's big enough, I will remove those domes and we'll watch this grow in this area right here. So I'm excited about this area. Now the garlic chives, they're going to be um, a perennial. Those are perennials, so they come back each and every year. Um, when they get big or I harvest them, I can harvest it down probably to about two to four inches uh, above the base of the plant and then just let them come back again. So those, if they look good and they're doing well in this area, we'll just let them stay here and we'll always plant like some type of annual flower in the front and something tall in the back. Okay, so I'm realizing what the date is and I really need to get to work. Slowly but surely we've been removing, we've been replacing, um, we've been switching out. So. Um, I'm trying to figure out what do I want my next bed to be because I got so many leafy greens that I need to um, get planted and I'm thinking to myself, let me tell you, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it is going to be um, probably this bed that is over here. I think we're going to work on those next. We This is where the Armenian cucumbers were. This is where I've cut back the um, 
I want to say this is the Italian oregano, the Italian oregano. Um, so we'll get some things put in here. I just have to decide. I may put some collards in here, but to be honest, y'all, the collards and the kale last season, they did really well in the ground. What didn't do well or what I had a problem with was pests was the broccoli rob. So I may just put that um, here and then we'll slowly but surely just start working our way um, in the raised beds and also in the ground because um, I'll have another video coming up. We just went to one of our favorite places, the county farms. Um, I'll give y'all a sneak peek. Uh, we did a live, but I did not get any any um leafy greens because i knew i had so many so we did get what i went there for is snapdragons pansies uh violas and dusty miller so we're going to start doing some containers um and also adding some in the bed in the raised beds and in the ground for color too y'all look at that isn't that so pretty okay y'all so let me go ahead and uh, decide what I'm going to do next. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video.